don't know how people can continue being narcissists even though they've lost their looks. I mean, I used to be a part of the bit of a Narcian psychographic, a bit of obsessed with looking at myself, obsessed with my own opinions and whatnot. But as uh, time goes on, you know, you start to lose your hair, you look at your old opinions and you're like, oh, that was shite. Like, I don't know how, like, you can be a narcissist during your teenage years or so, but I don't see how it can continue throughout your life. It doesn't make much sense to me that anybody could bring light to why that is, how it can continue. Maybe just a lot of luck throughout life. Ooh, a big boon here, a nice boon there, a nice boon with genetics, a nice boons with cash, a boon with the romance, boon with uh, yada yada yada. Maybe that's how it can continuously go on and eventually you explode with egotism or you explode with your egocentric habits and it comes to light and you come across this ag agnor suddenly and then you suddenly change and you're like, oh no, why did I do all of this? But I feel like for most people it happens a lot earlier. You're like, oh, my opinions are shit or my looks are going to hell and yada yada yada. Finn, 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 I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, passive voice.